Today I'm gonna to give you three things that I guarantee are gonna increase your clubhead speed. I'm gonna give you a bonus tip that I just started literally using this week that is increasing clubhead speed drastically for all of my students. So hey, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to be part of our community here at US Golf TV. If you love golf, this is where you need to be because we're talking golf every single day. We're helping people get better. And some of you out there, you're teaching me some things as well. So be sure to leave some comments or questions if you got those because I always do my best to answer them. So let's dive right into this. We're talking about club head speed. How are you gonna outdrive the people in your foursome? We're gonna talk about something to do in your setup. A couple checkpoints there. I'm gonna teach you how to create more body speed. Okay, how to rotate your body and create more speed. And then I'm gonna teach you how to create some arm speed. All right, and then last but not least, I'm gonna show you specific drill, like I said, that I just started using, that is, the, the results are off the charts fantastic. So let's talk about setup. Here's what we know. We're talking about the driver. And we know to hit long bombs, long shots with the driver, we've gotta launch it high, we gotta have low spin. Everybody knows that. So what can we do in our setup to promote that? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get set up. Now I like to use, when I'm training a lot, I like to use my live view, especially with my students, because they get great visual. It literally mirrors exactly what they're doing. So as I'm telling them something and they're moving, they can see it and they can feel. We're gonna talk more about that in a second. But in the setup, from the face on view, when you're set in here, a couple things you can do. Number one is you gotta have a nice wide stance and you gotta take your toes and rotate them out a little bit. Now why is that important versus having your toes squared up like this? Because we're gonna talk about rotation of the body here, all right, in a second. That's the second thing. How do we create more body rotation? That's gonna be a key. But in order to do that, you gotta have your setup and get your toes out a little bit. That's number one. Wide stance, toes out, is gonna allow us to rotate, gonna help us increase club head speed. The next thing you're gonna do is when you're set in there, you're gonna take your lead hip and you're gonna bump it this way. Now we're gonna talk about why that's important in a second. Take your lead hip, bump it, lead arm, raise it a little bit. Okay, trail arm is underneath. So as I'm standing right here, got my live view right down the line, bump my hip, raise this. I can see my lead arm below my, excuse me, my lead arm above my trail arm. Okay, now what this does is when I'm in this position, I put this blue line on there as a reference point going right above my shoulder, okay? Notice where my hands are at right there. When I take it back, now when I come in, see how my hands, I wanna feel my hands work underneath that. Notice how they're underneath that blue line and they're working up and to the right. When the swing works from in to up and to the right for a right-handed golfer, that's what allows you to hit up on the golf ball. That's what increases your launch and decreases your spin. So this little practice right here, Boom, right there, okay? A great visual. So that starts with having a good setup. So let's review the setup checkpoints. And then we're gonna talk about the body speed. Toes out, wide stance, bump, lead arm up, trail arm underneath, okay? To set that swing motion, working that way. All right, now, body speed. How do we create some body speed? Well, there's multiple ways. There's some rotation. Okay, rotating, we're gonna talk about that at the end. That's the bonus tip I'm gonna give you. The rotation, and there's also right and left, lateral, okay? So let's talk about the lateral. So when we're set in here, okay, here's the drill you're gonna do. You're gonna start with your weight on your trail foot. And I know what you're thinking, if you've been following my stuff, you're like, wait a minute, Todd, I've watched a ton of your videos. Don't you always typically tell people to start with their weight on their lead foot? Yes, I do, when we're hitting irons. But today we're talking about how to increase club head speed. Okay, so this is the drill. So you're gonna start with your weight on your trail foot, maybe 70%. You're gonna push it towards your lead foot and then you're gonna push off it. So think of like jumping, all right? So I'm here, trail, push, push, and then go. And what's gonna happen is you're creating that movement of weight, that shifting of your mass, that shifting of the pressure, that's gonna increase your club head speed. So let me go ahead and hit one. I'm gonna demonstrate this. So I'm set in here. Okay, now keep in mind it's early, all right? So the muscles are still a little, a little tight. Toes out, I'm gonna go right, left, right, boom. Not too bad for one of the first swings of the morning. So that little drill there, start right, trail, go towards lead. Now I'm gonna push off that lead, 
All right, that is gonna give me some momentum and help me increase some body speed. All right, now, let's talk about arm speed. Tee another ball up here. So, that's set up. That's body speed. Okay, let's talk about arm speed. This is one of my favorite drills. Now, get set in here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make, I'm gonna do it real slow, okay? Back swing, forward swing, recoil right back in front. Let me do that again. Okay, so back. Notice I'm just doing these slow. Don't do these fast to begin with. All right, slow. Back, forward, recoil. Boom. Back. Okay, notice I'm creating some speed. Now, once I got the hang of it, I can add some speed to it. Now, what's happening here? You can even hear the swish. I'm creating arm speed, okay? So what I like to do when I do this drill with my students, need to create arm speed. This is really good drill, okay, if you got a bad back, you don't have a lot of mobility, all right, if you're older, kind of like me, you don't move like you used to, arm speed is a huge resource for us. So, you're in, so I'll do a couple of those. All right, now I got the sensation, now I'm gonna set up. Okay, now I'm gonna get that same feel with my arms. Okay, that was faster than the first one. I could feel some real arm speed. I hit that pretty good. All right, I felt some good arm speed there. All right, let's talk about the third one. So that's a little bit about arm speed, body speed. I promised you I'm just gonna give you a little bonus tip at the end. Um, so if you got any questions on those first couple, put them in the comments, be sure to leave them there. Now these couple here that I'm gonna share with you right now, I just picked up over the last like couple weeks, they are fantastic. So here's how it works, all right? You're gonna take your regular setup. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a backswing, and as you make a backswing, you're gonna take your trail foot and just step back a little bit. Okay, trail foot, boom, back. Now I got these drills, all right, from my good friend, Jonathan over at the Gray Institute. These guys are smart guys, and they, we have learned a lot from them over the last just month or so on how to create speed, so back. So see where my foot goes, it just goes back and behind me. Now what's happening here? Okay, I can, this is why I love live view. I take it back, see I can see right there, I'm looking at the screen, but I can see, look at the great hip rotation I got. Look at where my chest is at, it's completely opposite of the target, my back is to the target. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few of those. Boom, feel the rotation, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead, get set up in here, and I'm gonna try to get that same feel in my hips. Rotate back to the target and go ahead and hit it. So creating club head speed, creating club head speed is not that difficult. And the problem is, is a lot of the information out there is just not correct. Next time you go to the golf course, you want more club head speed, get your toes out. Okay, get your lead hip up, get your hand up here, okay, arm up here, underneath a little bit there. Okay, get some push, do some of those drills, get some arm speed. A little bit of these rotation. If you do those couple things, you're going to see your club head speed drastically increase and you're going to start out driving the buddies in your foursome.